for our next debate. Is it right for Kate Middleton's uncle, Gary Goldsmith, to be appearing on Celebrity Big Brother? Now, the charity Women's Aid has criticised the decision to include him in the show because of a 2017 criminal conviction for assaulting his wife. Gary was fined £5,000 and given a community order after admitting assaulting uh, the assault after a drunken argument uh, where his wife also accused him of taking drugs. Now, he's publicly apologised for the incident at the time, saying that he's not perfect, um, also that he has worked endlessly to put things right. Uh, reacting to the criticism, a Big Brother spokesperson said, all the housemates undertake training before entering the house and behaviours uh, is strictly monitored at all time. So, we're, uh, were Big Brother right to make him a housemate? Or should he be ditched from the show even now, 0207 862 22 is the number for your thoughts on this. Tess, I'll start with you on this one. Do you think, first of all, celebrity big brother, is Uncle Gary a celebrity? I didn't really know much about Gary, Uncle Gaza, or Brunkle, or whatever he's being called now, the bad <laughs> uncle, um, until he pops up as a celebrity big brother contestant. I feel very conflicted. First on the issue of his conviction for assault. I mean, it, we just one minute on Google, Christian Brown, Sean Penn, Christian Slater. I don't think I'm going to get you into legal trouble for saying I all really these hope not. Super yeah. famous names, I believe, have assault convictions attached to their brand, and it doesn't seem to have really held them back in any way. And there is something, I mean, look at the football fraternity. I mean, <laughs> we, we, we celebrate every yeah. Saturday, don't we? You know, match of the day, they're our heroes. But if you go into the murky backstories of so many of our household names, they do have some some very dubious track records in terms of domestic violence, etc. And this is a week where uh, the police commissioner said we need to equate you know, violence against women with terrorism. Mm -hmm. So on the one hand, I'm uncomfortable about Gary's presence in the Big Brother house. On the other hand, I believe keenly on rehabilitation. If you've paid your fine, if you've done your time, you did hundreds of hours of community service, if you've articulated your sorrow, your remorse, which he, um, seems, to have which done. he seems to have done, then I'm of the belief you, you then have to be able to, 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 to walk free in society and not be encumbered because how else do we integrate the vast number of people who come out of our penal system and need mm. to forge new lives? If they can't, they will reoffend. OK, so we believe in second chances, but James, do we believe in second chances with such a high profile as Celebrity Big Brother? Yes, I mean, it, it is a redemption story, Celebrity Big Brother. So the audience is being asked to judge whether the person really is uh, improved and has turned a corner. Uh, and uh, I thought Tessa put that really well. I, I love to think of second chances in redemption. I want to believe that people can get better. I'm interested to know whether this guy has actually turned it around. He, he did a horrific thing, and I think the charity is right to raise the flag. And he's going to have to argue his case on telly. The strange thing about Big Brother is it, is it does get to the truth quite quickly, and it gets to you do feel quite quickly about whether people are sincere about whether well, they've changed or not. Well, we have to remember not. that it, it films for 24 hours and then it is edited down. Yeah. So, I mean, people have argued coming out of the Big Brother house, whether it's true or not, I don't know, that they were slightly given yes. a, a, a slant to the edit. 0207 862 is the number for your view on this. Do you think Kate Middleton's Uncle Gary should be on Celebrity Big Brother? We'll go straight to the calls now and speak to Christine from Middlesbrough. Christine, what's your view on this one? Well, he's just got as much right to be on Big Brother as anybody else. I mean, I know the same well as he a celebrity, but half those in there, I wouldn't know if there were celebrities anyway. You know, okay. I mean, he's just, you know, why, why shouldn't he be on it? He's got as much right as anybody in my eyes. Well, uh, Christine, I'll, I'll, I'll try and give the other perspective. I suppose the reasons that perhaps he shouldn't be on it is that we have a real issue in this country with violence against women. Um, you know, two women are killed every week at the hands of a man. And actually, maybe this is the one crime that can't be forgiven. And that although he is allowed a second chance and he is allowed uh, employment and he is allowed to make as much money as he likes, we are not going to give him the profile in order to be able to, um, to redeem himself? Well, it's, it's up to everybody's own opinion if they think he's redeemed himself. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, no, he'll never redeem himself from such a heinous crime. But as for just going on uh, 
pathetic little show like Big Brother, I don't think it's a big issue. You know what I mean? Why not? I mean, if Fern wonder... Britain stops questioning on Kate, things would be all right. I'm just frightened so much comes out about poor Kate. Well, there's but another Fern question, actually. Question the, well, there's another, the there's another question, Christine. Should he be in there as he is, he is only, he's a self-made millionaire. I mean, he's he's done incredible things with his business, but essentially he is in there mm. on the coattails of his niece. And sh is that acceptable? Why not? <laughs> you know, I mean, people well, are on shows for less. People yes, but should, should, for less. shouldn't we have a higher standard when it comes to our entertainment? Not on Big Brother. I mean, <laughs> half those celebrities in there, I wouldn't know them from Adam. So it's not as if it's a high class show. It's just an everyday show for everyday people. Let anyone go on who wants to. What's the big issue? Christine, OK, fair enough. You wanted to jump in there, Tessa? I just, two points. I love the fact that you're questioning the validity of his appearance on a show when the very reason he is famous is because he belongs to uh, the, now is part of the dynasty that is hereditary monarchy, where all you have to do is be related to a royal to be famous. Yes, but royals are different. Royalty is different to celebrity, but, unless you think it's not. Well, but he's connected in the royal family tree through his niece. Yes, he's directly so he, connected. So he's connected the with family. the royals, but that doesn't make him a celebrity, does it? Well, Andrew. Prince Andrew is he no was a longer... Working, he was a working royal up until he, recently. He as far really as I know, Gary is not royals. a working royal. But, but, but my point is they're both slightly unsavoury, aren't they? Um, and, uh, uh, you know, Andrew, although uh, we know that the, no conviction was made, etc., you know, his affiliations with a convicted paedophile, etc., and yet there he is front and centre of all our royal photographs, Sandra at Christmas, Balmoral in August. So I think really to categorise... Gary separately, the one person I am concerned about and who doesn't have to seem, seem to have a voice in any of this is his ex-wife, who was the recipient well, of his violence. I, I mean, How does she feel? I, I'm not sure, and I, I'm not sure we should be identifying a, a victim of that sort um, or getting her involved at all, because why should she be dragged through this all over again? Uh, Seema from London, what's your thoughts on... on a, Gary being in the Big Brother house, I've now demoted him to just Gaza. Yeah, Gaza. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Gary. <laughs> Not to be confused <laughs> yeah. with other well. Garys. <laughs> yes. Well, hello there, everyone. Um, first of all, as he said so himself, he's a bunkle, which is a bad uncle. <laughs> now, um, first of all, he's not a celebrity. Royalties are royalty. It's a different stature, different... Is he even a royal? Altogether, different ball game. He's, he's not really he's not a royal. royal. Exactly. He's related to a royal. Mm. And I think they've been through enough, the royal family. Yeah. Poor Kate doesn't need this. And furthermore, um, this guy has done an offence, a big offence. Mm. Um, if you hurt a woman, a child, elderly, that's a different ball game. He's done a crime and he shouldn't be put on a pedestal. Is this is something that's just a straight no. No, no, he should not be there. This is not right. This is a slap in the face to all women that have been hurt and but, anyone else that's vulnerable that has been hurt. Yeah, but Seema, is there not... In this country, we believe in rehabilitation and we believe in second chances. So is there not a, 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 an argument to say that actually he might be the very person that we need to talk out and talk to men about domestic violence and tell men that it's just... It's a weak thing to do and spread the message that we need to stop this sort of behaviour and how insidious it is and how it starts and how it develops and the impact that it has. Potentially, he could be... He could be doing good in that field. I agree with that, but this is not how you do it. Then perhaps you should get involved with the societies that are against battered women and children and other people, and that's how he should be doing it, not be getting lots of money and fame. Oh, look what I've done, and now I'm ranting and raving about it. I've rehabilitated it. I'm sorry. Please re the rehabilitation is the fact that we're letting him to come out into public again and to enjoy a normal life. He was never, he, crime, he never went to prison, actually, yeah. Seema, but, but I take your point. I understand that. I think Thank Seema you. makes a really valid point here. Why do we consider violence against women less serious? Would we platform a former convicted terrorist well, or a hold paedophile? Hold on, hold we on. Boy, Boy George was on I'm a Celebrity. Mm. I'm going to leave this there. Thank you very much for your calls yeah. on this. We have to move on after the break.